And first at five, two news investigates getting answers about a deadly workplace accident in West Carrollton. Today, we learned much more about the worker who died in the company he worked for. Natalie Tindall is here now with what she's uncovered about a story you saw first on two. Well, we know electricity was involved with the death of Jeffrey Garnett. And now we know the location of that accident has been in trouble before for issues dealing with electrical equipment. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration, or OSHA, told Two News Investigates preliminary evidence suggests over 1,000 volts of high energy power were involved in the accident that killed welder Jeffrey Garnett. It happened here at Cohen Recycling in West Carrollton. We checked, and Cohen has no record of violations, but the company they own that operates out of the same address does. Metal Shredders Inc. was cited for serious violation of wiring design and protection. We found that deals with electrical equipment. OSHA also found another violation of guarding floor and wall openings and holes. According to records, OSHA inspected the facility after a complaint was filed last summer. Metal Shredders Inc. was charged a penalty of $7,650, but settled with OSHA for $2,600. OSHA investigators will now determine if any violations occurred at that facility. Their investigation could take up to six months. Natalie Tendel, 2 News, investigates.